Let's add a weapon to our character. To do that, we need our character, our character blueprint, and our mesh that will work as our weapon. The first thing you need to do is check your weapon. If the mesh doesn't have a correct pivot, it's going to make our lives harder. To edit this pivot point, if you need it, let's go to the modeling mode, let's go to X form, and let's click on edit pivot. Just choose where you need your pivot to be and then click accept. In my case, this is okay, so I'm gonna leave it just like that. Then let's create a blueprint for our weapon. Here in our weapon, let's just choose a actor as the base blueprint and let's call it blueprint weapon. Inside of it, what we're gonna do is just drag and drop our mesh. Here the mesh will have the correct pivot point, so that's okay. We're creating a blueprint because later on we can use it to add some damage here or any logic that the weapon has. Now we want to add the weapon to the character. Now it's just a matter of dragging and dropping the weapon inside of our character. It's going to be attached to the mesh, but in order to attach it, we need an attach point. So let's open the skeletal mesh by double clicking it. That attach point will be called sockets. Here in the skeleton tree, let's search for the hand that we want our weapon to be held with. Right click on the bone and let's add a socket. Here with the socket, we can right click on it, add a preview asset and search for our mesh. Now it's just a matter of positioning our sword Let's say just like that, just to test. Let's save it. We can edit this later, so don't worry. And then inside of our character, we just need to here drag and drop our weapon. Here in the weapon, in the parent socket, we're gonna select the socket that we just created. And now it's there. Our camera has a little problem, but not to worry. Why? Because right now, if we play it, we will see that our weapon here, here it is. The only thing that can be problematic in the process is if your weapon has a collision. So let's go to our blueprint, click on the Calypso sword, and make sure that in the collision part, we just put no collision. And that usually will solve most of the problems that you may find during this part. Now it's just a matter of refining where the position of your weapon will be at. So you can either do that in the weapon, like in my case, I can just rotate this here and then check again. But if we need to fine tune where exactly on the hand I want it to be, then I need to go back to here. And let's just adjust it a little bit. And maybe rotate it a little bit also. Like this. Now it's also a good idea that your sockets are properly named, so you can call it Yes, hand our weapon. Oh, and because the socket name was changed, make sure that you also update it in the blueprint. And now you're done. Your character is now holding a weapon. If you want to improve your game development skills, make sure to check out our on-demand courses for free. You can watch them and get high quality free education. And if you're a serious game developer, make sure to check out our UNF game development program, where you will create a game from scratch and publish it on Steam. Now, something to have in consideration if you want your character to use multiple weapons is to spawn it. Let's say here in your blueprint, maybe you don't want to start with this weapon and just dragging and dropping it here wouldn't work. Let's just delete that and 
to spawn the weapon is very easy. Let's go to our begin play, if we have it, otherwise we can create it. And here in the begin play, we're gonna spawn our weapon. It's called weapon. And then we're gonna attach it to our mesh. So we need a reference to the mesh and we want to attach in my case, it will be this actor that I'm creating to a component that it is this mesh. So the target is this actor, the parent will be the mesh, the socket name, well, let's remember what, what the name is. We can just press F2 and copy with Ctrl C. And here, let's paste the socket name. Location, snap to target, rotation, snap to target, and a scale rule, let's just keep it relative. With that in place, whenever we play it, and well, here it's gonna throw me an error because this spawn transform is empty. So let's just right click and split the struct pin so we don't have any error. So now we don't have the sword, but whenever we begin play, then we will get this sword here. So here we have the sword. Now, this will mean that every time we want to give it a new sword or a new weapon, we just need to do these two nodes and everything else will work correctly. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe, become a member, and I will see you in the next video.